Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. Hola, como estas? The King of Lightning is here today. <laughs> yeah. I like how I started off English. Then all of a sudden, I backtrack. I just rewind in the Spanish and end it off with a French accent. All right, I love it. All right, I don't care. Uh, King of Lightning here today. To do Hunter x Hunter 2011, episode 125 review, that is 1, 2, 5, Hunter x Hunter. The link to the episode is going to be in the description box down below on Crunchyroll.com. Now listen, right? Honest to God, I am tired, I am groggy, I've had a very unique and intriguing day. I had a little bit of a scare, alright? I had a, a little bit of a scare. I'm like, oh, and you know, maybe, mm, I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, fuck, T today was just one of those days, right? It was one of those days, and the end result is me being tired of shit. However, I still have stuff to do, but right now that bed behind me is looking real good. It's looking real good. Oh, it's looking real good. However, I'm actually getting, I'm going to reset my computer to factory settings, and I'm going to do some stuff here. I, I, I need to do it because my computer has so many... Well, it has issues because... All right, word to the wise, all right? If you get a PC and your PC has an operating system installed, don't downgrade, just upgrade. Because I made the mistake of getting Windows 8, and even though Windows 8, it's a good PC. It's very, very obvious to me, Asus. It's just that I downgraded, and then I upgraded, and then that led to a whole issue, and that, that led to a host of issues with the drivers, and I'm going to do that as soon as I can, mean today, but I'm tired, so nap, and then I'm going to do that, so whatever. So, but you guys look at my life, because my life be like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, yep, yeah, that's my life. However, you guys care about Hunter x Hunter, so let's get that down as soon, as quick as possible, because, uh, I don't know, seven minutes, who knows, maybe, who knows, maybe, probably not. First of all, the beginning of the episode, the episode itself is actually in the two parts. It is the Gone Freak stuff, and it is the Merriam versus Chairman Atero stuff. So we actually go right back to the fight. Now, let me go with the basics first. Animation, pacing, story progression, and so on and so forth. First of all, number one, story progression. We did make a lot of leeway. Well, we kind of made leeway. Because the fight with Chairman Atero and Merriam is still going on. And they've actually changed location. Knuckle actually went to the location where Gone and Never P2 and Poof were. Poof vanishes. He, he disappears. His clone does at least. And then Knuckle's gonna go meet the clone. Supposedly. And we have Gone actually extend the deadline of the amount of time needed to actually heal Komugi. Where we actually find out that the preconceived deadline, an hour, was actually the estimated time that Never P2 gave Gon. So she could heal Komugi fully. Cause I believe at first like she said like three hours. Gon said no 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 fuck that. An hour. But the hour was actually enough time that it was actually plenty of time that she that she needed. Cause her nan abilities have actually grown to an extent where she could actually heal Komugi in an hour's time. However now it's ten minutes because Gon no, no, no. Gon calmly, calmly, and that's in that situation. Given the fact that it was very tense, it was a very awkward scenario too, because you had P two. I'm sorry, you had Poof trying to sway the others, and then Knuckle was actually being swayed. In comes Gon Freaks, the supposed stupid one of the group, and he's like, "No, he, he's bullshit. He's bullshit." So. The thing here is that all he does is simply say, all right, you got 10 minutes. And the fact that Gon told Knuckle to go south, because that's where the king is, Neferpitu didn't know that Gon had seen the king and uh, Cheminotero leave on Zeno's dragon head. But she made the assumption that, she had complete, that he had completely figured out Poof's plan. Therefore, she not only assumed 
that Gon had this immense power, which he does at this point in time, but also she assumed that Gon was actually very intelligent, intelligent enough to actually decipher and thwart Poof's plan. Therefore, he is even more of a threat now than she first perceived. So now, never P2 is on some gung-ho mission like, okay, uh, this guy, Gon, I, I gotta kill him. For the sake of the king, I gotta kill Gon Freaks. I, I got it. So, now that's a problem because, well, we know that Gon wants to get Never P2 back. So, well, Gon wants to make Never P2 heal Kite. But if she has the intention of killing Gon, then Kite being healed is a slim to none chance. So, right there is most of the story progression on that end. And again, the other end, really not so much other than the fact that the fight has switched locations. And then there was actually a very intriguing flashback slash internal monologue from Chairman Otero about how he had reached this pinnacle amongst humans, at least. He had become a quote-unquote monster. And he beat all those in his way. But because of that reason, his... His routine changed when he went about fighting. He would always let others go first. He would uh, he would always let others have the first move. And he would humbly accept their defeats once they bow down and they surrender. But after but while, while he's fighting Meruem, the thing here is that I guess in a way it's returned his senses, all right? His senses have now sharpened, they have returned. And He's going all out, and we can s clearly see that. So let me get to the animation, all right? That was number one. Number one, overall story progression, it was oh, it was actually pretty good on the first half. Second half, not so much, but still fascinating. When it comes to the animation, first of all, at the beginning, eh, it was okay. Not that bad. Well, not bad at all, but it was okay nonetheless. However, when it comes to the second half, the fight between Meruem and... The tarot. Guan Yin is phenomenal. First of all, the scene where he jumps in the air and then he stances up in the air like this dude is stanced up in the air, cross-legged, kind of, sort of ish, and. He summons the Guan Yin, the 100 type Guan Yin Bodhisattva. He does an attack called the 99th Hand, I believe so. This was disgusting. Oh my god. And and the worst part about it, I mean, because Meruem took the attack just fine. But when you first see it, you're like, yo, how is he alive? There's no way. Because the attack did not stop for like three minutes. It was just continuous palm thrust. And you're like... Yo! No way, dog! He's dead! That's what you're thinking. And because I'm like, yeah, bro. That's all it was! That all it, that's all it was! Just straight... Yo, man. Again. Kung Fu Hustle, son. Kung Fu Hustle. Buddha palm, son. It was just a slew of those, pretty much. And by the way, Kung Fu Hustle, one of my favorite martial arts movies. Period. I don't care what anyone else says. Alright? I haven't seen Raid. I really should see Raid. Then, of course, there's It Man. Oh my god! It Man! Woo! Ah! But then there's a protector, Tony Ja. He does his thing. He does his thing. Yo, elbows. I'm like, that's crazy. But whatever. Let, let me move on. All right. Fuck. <laughs> I got completely sidetracked. But that was a very good animation. With like the flower petal behind him and the stance and like the ripple in the air. That was very good. And, like his very nice detail on the facial expressions. Of Chairman Taro. Very nice detail. His intensity, his ferocity. At the same time, at the end, how he became more grateful, how he was more humble. He even had like a whole thing with the heart. Like, like you see him 
at the end. He's like gonna pull some tri beam shit, like on some TN shit, like yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I was nice. That was very nice. But the best part, animation wise, for sure. My well, at least in my personal opinion, for sure, was when they touch down. All right, they, he makes the actual opening into this tomb area. And he actually makes it seem as if he knew beforehand. I, I doubt it, but I think he's going with the flow. Regardless. Oh no, he's, maybe he doesn't know. Who knows? The thing is this. This dude. He touches down to the ground the smoke. And Merriam is staring right Merriam is staring right back at Chairman Natera. Chairman Natera. This dude. Begins his routine. You know. The routine. And there's a little stone thing falling. Right in front of Merrim's face. And then all of a sudden it's like time slows down considerably. And like I said before. The way his routine operates is. It takes place. Within fractions of seconds. Fractions upon fractions of seconds. And then he's just... And the freaking thing was in Merrim's face. And you can see Merrim's eyes just staring it down. Like, um, he's just walk on. And the thing here... Is that... The 100 type appears once again. And so that's the way it works. The way it works is that he has to do the... Before, he can't do consecutive attacks with the 100 type. He has to first do the routine and then attack. Just how when he was training, he first did his, he, he first did his routine. He first gave thanks to the martial arts and then he striked. Faster than the speed of sound. But... You see, it wasn't even like a named attack. It was just a simple... Yeah, that's all it was. Just a simple... But it was disgusting. It was nasty. The animation of the hand moving through the air, cutting the air, and then hitting Merrim. And Merrim's guard like this, and you can see the intensity on his face, but the force is so powerful where his guard breaks and he's rolling on the ground. He's just rolling on the ground, and he just gets flung to the damn pillars, through like three, four pillars. I'm like, yo, that's the... Oh, I can't tell you. I was hyped. Even though, because I was watching the episode on my iPad, buy one, if you can, on my bed. And even though I was tired as fuck, that scene right there. Made me say, you know what? Fuck the nap. Fuck the nap. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do this review. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, now, the pacing, I should say, was fine overall. But the thing here is that when it came to the return to the fight of Merrim versus Terminatero, they recycled like two minutes of that shit. They, they did, and that, and that was very obvious, and it really bugged me. I'm like, yo, you could have added more scenes in there, but then you decided to recycle what we see like three times now. No. So it starts off, in my personal opinion, very irksome. Because again, it was a recycled scene, recycled animation, no. I'm not a fan of that. However, what I will say, is that I do like how they worked out the entire thing at the beginning with Gon and with uh, Neferpitu and how we basically had the internal mod. We, we always had the internal dialogue of the Chimera Ants, of the Royal Guard, Poof and Pitu, those two. And how we actually have Pitu. Pitu, re I'm sorry, Poof realizes that because Knuckle is here, that means that Yuppie let Yuppie let Knuckle live. And depending on Yuppie's answer to that, someone may just have to get poof. So, yeah, not that kind of poof. I mean... Fuck! 
Colorado, man. God damn it. God damn it. Yo, man. At the beginning of this lifetime, at the beginning of this lifetime, I am hating to be born a New Yorker. Because Colorado right now is looking real good. It's looking real good. Oh, man. <laughs> Cake City. Son. <laughs> Cake City. Fuck it. Apparently, I actually found out, I actually heard uh, that crime as a result went down because of, of the legal, because of the legalization of marijuana in Colorado for recreational purposes. <laughs> yeah! Recreation, yeah, in the middle of recess. If I, yeah. Yo, Timmy, click a uh, kickball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kickball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, man. Well, no, obviously, you have to be 21 or older. Uh, like, you know, like, like alcohol. But whatever. The thing here is that the episode overall, because I'm pretty much done, right? I thought it was very good. I thought it was very good. I'm probably going to give it a rating of a great plus. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I get a yes? Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yes. Uh, the rating is going to be a great plus. And I will see you guys later. Woo! And we're not done. The day is still... The night is still young. 7.30. Fuck. All right, boss. See you guys later. King Lightning, rate the video. Comment, subscribe as always. Uh, this video today was a little bit sloppy, probably. Do I care? No. Sometimes you, you gotta get down and dirty, man. Sometimes you gotta be covered in filth, as I always say. Like you spend a month in the Canadian woods, bro. You're just covered in muck. Yeah, nasty. All right. There's like an inch of dirt underneath your nail. Like that's how grimy you gotta be sometimes. But it is what it is, and I'm here. So I will see you guys later, King Lightning. And I'm gone. Be sure, of course, to rate the video. Comment, subscribe as always. The raise is going to be great. Plus, peace. Have a nice day.